Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number three in the authentication module titled Password Reset Broken Logic. All right, let's get started. This lab's password reset functionality is vulnerable. To solve the lab, reset Carlos's password, then log in and access his My Account page, and then you're given your credentials and the victim's credentials. All right. So the idea over here is you know the victim's username and you want to be able to access his account. However, you don't have his password. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to exploit a vulnerable password reset functionality in order to reset Carlos's password and then log into Carlos's account. Okay, let's access the lab. Now notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp. And so all my requests are already being passed in my Burp proxy. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is test the reset functionality for our user account that we have. So we're going to put in his username, hit submit. Now it makes a post request to the forgot password functionality. And if we look over here, it just takes in the username and it sends the uh, password reset link to the email address. So let's click on email client and click on the forgot password reset link and look at that link over here. So it was this link right here. Let's send that to repeater. It has the temporary forgot password token and uh, that's it, it's a get request. And then let's reset the password to let's say password and confirm it, hit submit and see the request that is performed by the application. So it's a post request. Let's send that to repeater again. It takes in the temporary forgot password token in the URL, but it also has a bunch of parameters it takes in over here. So one of them is the temporary forgot password token, the username, the new password, and then uh, the confirmation of the new password. Now it takes this in twice. So I'm wondering if it just compares these two tokens together and it doesn't actually have to be a valid token. So let's just keep this at X, but make sure that it's equal to the one over here. So X and then just change the username to Carlos and see if that works. Hit send. We get a 302, so that is a good sign hit forward and it just leads us to uh, the main page of the application. So let's click on my account and see if that works. So Carlos, and then let's just say the password is password, which is what we reset it to, hit login. And here we go, it says, congratulations, you solved the lab because we were able to access Carlos's account. So the vulnerability over here is in the implementation of the forgot password functionality. It looks like it compares this parameter to this parameter. And if it's equal, then it allows you to reset any user's account. Um, it doesn't actually check to see if this is a valid temporary forgot password token and that that token is linked to the user that is requesting the password reset. And that's why we were able to exploit it. All right, so we successfully exploited the vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.